because these people have like a month and two months to look around and play around with the votes. How people let this happen. We got to go to all paper ballots, voter ID, same day voting one day. How about some of these guys? The votes aren't final until two weeks after the election. You say, how do you tabulate the result? What do everybody wait? The nation waits. It's a disgrace what's happened. And I asked the people on stage, and we have a lot of people in the audience that are great politicians and very important for your state, to, I don't want help. I don't even want help with the vote. I just want help on making sure the vote is cast and counted fairly. You know, Lenin. Lenin, did anyone ever hear of Lenin? He said, the vote counter is far more important than the candidate. Has anyone ever heard that's Lenin? Lenin, as they say, as they say in Russia. But uh, no, the vote counter is far more important. It's very sad. We did so un unbelievable. We got more votes than any sitting president by far. We got millions of more votes than Barack Hussein Obama. I was told if we got the same number, we can't lose. We got millions more, millions and millions more. And uh, well, we thought we won until about 10, 15 in the evening. Then all of a sudden we said, what's going on here? Now we gotta, we gotta straighten out our borders. We gotta straighten out our elections. Cause we're like, a, we're like a third world country. These incredible poll numbers are one of the main reasons that the Marxist left is coming after us using the criminal justice system for massive election interference. That's what they're doing. They want to weaponize law enforcement to interfere with our elections through the use of the DOJ and the FBI, attorney generals and local district attorneys who actually, they actually, you know, the district attorney we have in New York, he's reporting into Washington. They sent one of the top guys from Washington to help him run his office. <laughs> that's uh, very, that's beautiful. Isn't it a wonderful life? But in the end, they're not coming after me, they're coming after you, and I'm just uh, standing in their way. I'm just standing. I will always stand in their way. But we can't let that happen. Because that's going to a lower level even than what happened in 2020. That's going, in my opinion, to a lower level than even happened in 2020. 